Thanks, Jana. We are back at the Jacksonville International Auto Show right now. I'm with my buddy Rick in an M5 fully electric. Rick, hit it. Uh, and we hit 55 miles per hour right now. This is one of the things you could do, not necessarily punch it like that. Rick, thanks for the ride. But you could actually test drive some of the vehicles out here. Thank you. Yes, sir. And to learn more about this, I have Emily over here. Emily. Welcome River City Live. Thanks for meeting up with us. And this is one of those learning type of experiences that you offer up here. People could learn about the cars, but also take them for a test spin. Yes, you know, the best part about the auto show is that you get to come and experience the car for yourself. You get to sit in it, see how you feel, see how it rides. And my favorite part I'm going to tell you about the EVs is that you get to feel the acceleration and they're so quiet and they're so comfortable. What and I just said right there. So that was an M5. So again, in that short little distance, we hit a little over 50 miles per hour, super quiet, super powerful. There's a lot of torque with that. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that people don't realize with these electric cars, they are really powerful. They are very powerful. We have some uh, vehicles, electric vehicles that are actually faster than some of the high-end Lamborghinis and Porsches. If you go out there and look at some of the studies, I could name them, but they're not in the show today, so I'm not gonna name them. Uh, but there is an electric vehicle for every budget that it's super fast, super reliable, and you know the beauty about having a uh, an electric vehicle from a legacy manufacturer is that you've got the service to back it up they're in our communities and I encourage everybody to just come out here we've got Mercedes we've got Porsche we've got the Audi e-tron we've got the BMW I mean you can't go wrong with any of those vehicles and then so obviously you have fully electric but then also the hybrid route if you can't explain that to people out there because in some cases it's the nice bridge to get you to going fully electric yes yeah, so if you're like me, I still find comfort in fuel, right? Because there's a gas station everywhere. Um, so the hybrid gives you the opportunity to kind of test the electric uh, portion of the vehicle and also have fuel. The nice thing about the EVs today, though, is that you have quite a bit of range. Most of these cars have 200 to 300 miles of range. I mean, if you're just going to work every day, you're fine. Absolutely. And obviously electric hybrid, but also regular, straight up conventional gas cars, you could come out and take them for a spin as well. Absolutely, we have those. Those are gonna have the roaring engines and the sounds of the mufflers that we all love to, to experience as well. So yeah, we've got a vehicle for everybody, every kind of personality, uh, every stage in life, you know, whether you're single, you're married, you've got kids you wanna put in a vehicle. Um, we have some minivans inside that, I mean, if I had those minivans when my kids were growing up, I would have had less trouble on road trips. Totally different than when we were growing up, right? Absolutely. A lot of luxuries. My gosh, they recline. The kids get to recline in the back seat. It's just, it's phenomenal, phenomenal the vehicles that we have today. Really is, and we talked about it before. So the whole shopping experience here, there's over 100 cars, probably over 200 cars here, all different types, all different manufacturers. So if you need to do your research, this is a place to be, and there's experts out there. And we were saying earlier in the show, you kind of need those experts yes. because cars, there's a lot of technology that sometimes people don't even learn when you should. Yes, well, you know, the, the my favorite part about the auto show is that nobody's trying to sell you anything. The experts are here to tell you what you need to know about the vehicle, this is not a selling show. Nobody's gonna try to sell you anything. Nobody's gonna try to change your mind. What we have found when people come to auto show, so I, ha I may have a brand in mind. I saw an advertisement and it's like, oh, I want that vehicle. But when they come and experience it, they find that maybe what they thought they wanted was different, right? And so this is like in the candy store. You get to go and pick out whatever you want, experience it, and then you make a decision. And then you go to the dealership and you say, you know what? This is what I'm here for. You did all your research, you're ready to go. Well, Emily, thank you so much for all your time and information. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, thank you. All right, thank you. Stick around, more to come, right after this.